The Shadow of the Mad King Halloween event is finally here in Guild Wars 2 and it's time to get spooky. I've broken this video into two different sections, the first section being for those noobs who have never done the Shadow of the Mad King, and the second being for those only interested in the 2022 updates, here we go. The event is celebrating the Mad King Thorn, a human monarch who was a complete lunatic and even after his death returns as a powerful Halloween spirit. Spooky. All throughout Tyria, there are fantastic events that you can do it in the spirit of Halloween, the most popular being the Mad King's Labyrinth, which has plenty of achievements, mount races, and events. The Labyrinth can be the most efficient gold-making method for the entire Shadow of the Mad King season. The undisputed champion of jumping puzzles is the Mad King's Clock Tower, which has you on an incredibly strict timer to climb the tower before the rising green lava of death kills you. The Ascent to Madness event is a personal fight against the Mad King himself, who occasionally make you play a game of Simon Says. The Mad King Says is that same game as Simon Says, except in public, where everyone gets to watch you fail. The Lunatic Inquisition is basically a game of zombie tag, where the other players masquerading as lunatic courtiers are attempting to hunt you down and turn you into lunatic courtiers. Reaper's Rumble is a League of Legends style PvP match where you are attempting to minion rush the enemy base to win. The Mad King's Raceway is a fast-paced Need for Speed event where you use mounts to race around the predetermined course trying to avoid exploding pumpkins. Basically every one of these events will grant you a trick or treat bag or other related items that have a small chance of dropping incredibly rare and expensive items, like the much sought after Ember Infusion, which <laughs> it looks pretty cool. For those of you who are interested in the 2022 updates, here's what we have. Completing the Halloween meta achievement will earn you a chained chest which offers new weapon skins. The tier 2 reward of the meta event will reward you a clawing shadow glove box with this sweet sweet skin that looks pretty damn cool. They've added a couple of more weapons to the courtly weapon box, the nightmare splitter, the pale light companion, and of course the harvest grin. There's a handful of new minis, especially the new mini Jade Bot, which will mirror your real Jade Bot. This mini will be out at all times and will match whatever skin your Jade Bot currently has. A couple of guild hall decorations with spider webs and a new blue flame ghost dragon weapon. Now these all can be bought with Black Lion claim tickets and they look pretty damn cool. That about wraps it up. Are you still curious about which profession you should play in Guild Wars 2? Click this video right here showing you all nine of the core profession spotlights. Thanks, stay caffeinated folks.